Training Module 6.2 Start of the Growing Cycle The learning objective of this training module is to understand how to determine the start of the growing cycle. Different options are offered in AquaCrop. On the one hand we can specify the date, on the other hand we can generate an onset based either on rainfall or air temperature. And finally, you can also simulate dry planting with the help of AquaCrop. Let's first see where one specify the date. The starting date of the growing cycle is specified in the main menu. When you select a crop, AquaCrop will ask you for the planting date. You can adjust the day, the month and the year. Once you have selected a crop, you still can change the planting date by clicking on the crop button and changing it over here. Let us now discuss how AquaCrop can generate the onset of the growing cycle based on rainfall. It is particularly useful for rain-fed farming. The onset of course will vary from one year to the other. By looking at rainfall data, AquaCrop will estimate a sowing planting date based on rainfall. The option to select the onset based on rainfall is available in the main menu. By clicking on the crop, one can select the date or one can generate an onset by selecting one or another criteria. If we click on the select criteria button, AquaCrop displays the menu in which we can generate an onset either based on rainfall or on temperature. If we want to generate an onset based on rainfall, we first have to specify the search window. It is the window in which the planting date is likely to occur. For winter wheat in Tunisia, this is between the 1st of October and the end of the year. That is my search window. Subsequently, we select one or another criteria. One of the criteria is, for example, we need to have the specified amount of rainfall, which is 80 millimeters in this case, to generate the onset, which corresponds with the 5th of November for that year. Another option is that you need to have one or a few rainfall events in a short period. Here we are requesting at least 35 millimeters in four days. The amount of rainfall will be sufficient to wet the topsoil and if that happens in a short period, soil evaporation will be not that important. As a consequence, we have a wet topsoil in which farmers are likely to sow. The first occurrence of that rainfall in the year 79 is 29th of October. Often farmers will not sow at the first occurrence. They will wait for a second occurrence to be sure that the rainy season really started. By clicking on the next days, one can see that the second occurrence is at the 6th of November. The onset will vary from one year to the other. If I take the year 1980, with the same criterion, I can see that rains will start much later, 1st of December. For the year 1981, No date can be found. 
for the year 82 the criteria is met on the 30th of October the next one on the 2nd of November the next one on the 13th of November and the final one on the 21st of December so if we want to run a simulation for the year 82 we might select the second option and if you select that you return to the main menu with the generated onset for that year an onset can also based on air temperature which might be useful for temperate climate when we are estimating the effect of climate change climate change is likely to increase the air temperature and as such, the start of the growing cycle will be most likely early in the year. Similar with onset generated based on rainfall, we have a search window and we have several criteria which can be selected. Finally, the start of the growing cycle can be determined during the simulation if you plant or sow before rainfall comes. As long as the soil water content in the topsoil is not above a threshold, germination is not triggered.